There are so many guests already arriving. And have you seen the wedding decorations they put up in the gardens? So beautiful. You know, we're as lucky as she is. Marjorie was but a lady when we were sent to serve at High Garden. But in just a few days' time, we'll be attending to a queen at a royal feast. Where we're standing, we'll be able to see everyone. And everyone will be able to see us. We've certainly come a long way, haven't we? I've been meaning to say what I told you about my family. It means a lot to be able to share that with someone. Someone I can trust. If handmaidens don't help each other in King's Landing, nobody will. Thank you, Mira. And you know I'll always help you too. Hold on, look. There he is. Lord Morgren? No, no, next to him. Lord Tarwick. I don't want to be a handmaiden forever. And this wedding may be the best chance of meeting a husband I'll ever have. I have to go talk to him. Marjorie won't notice it for a few minutes longer. Could you make an excuse for me? Please. I'm not asking for much. Go on then. It'll be fine. The wedding's still days away. Thank you, Mira. I knew I could count on you. What are you doing here? Surprised to see me, eh? Because the way you left me... You can't have thought you were going to see me again. I... I'm sorry I left you. I am. Well... I'm glad you didn't die. And he deserved what he got. What he tried to do to you. But... I'm here to warn you. I was down in Flea Bottom last night when I overheard a couple of Lannister guards talking about... Shh! They already know he's missing. Probably dead. They're questioning people. Searching for his body. It's not safe. What did you do? You don't want to know, Lady Mira. I may not look like much, but I know how to survive. What? What is it? If we're going to survive this, there can't be any details we've overlooked. What if they find his knife? I threw it away. Oh, oh no. You do not want to get caught looking for it. Just don't get in any more trouble. And I'll... I'll watch your back. We're in this together now. You saved my life. I don't even know your name. It's... It's Tom. Thank you, Tom. Don't thank me yet, Lady Mira. There's still a knife out there covered with a dead man's blood. And I don't... Mira! My lady. Really? A tryst in the bushes with that coal boy? Not to say it's wrong, but... With all the lords and knights in King's Landing... Truly, it's nothing, Sarah. He's a friend. Really? Is that so? Come on. Marjorie expects us at the throne room. We don't want to be late. You can tell me all about this Lord Tarwick on the way. Well... First of all, his name's Garibald, and he has this really funny accent. He told me the cleverest story about... This festival they have where they celebrate. And I've given the musicians a list of songs to play for Joffrey at the feast. I assume you have no problems with the reigns of Castamere? I trust you've chosen all the standards. But just to be sure, I'll draw up a list of wedding ballads we favor in Highgarden. Your Grace? My Lady? Which reminds me, Joffrey will require his King's Guard close at hand during the feast. I'm afraid we'll have no room for your handmaidens. 
but we... What was that? Do you object? Is that what I heard? I, uh... If you're going Your to Grace, speak out of turn, girl, I... you should finish what you start. We do as you command, Your Grace, and we'll spend the feast wherever it pleases you. You'll spend it mopping the stables, if I please. I asked your handmaiden, here at the Iron Throne, whom she would serve if forced to choose between yourself and the King. She was deferential to the crown then, as she is now. But words are wind. In any case, it's settled. The King's Guard will stay with Joffrey. Your handmaidens will sit elsewhere. Of course, Your Grace. Anything for my beloved Joffrey. Lady Marjorie, we may not see eye to eye on everything, but I hope you will at least agree with me that our handmaidens should know their place. And that place is not with my brother, Tyrion. What did she mean by that, you and Tyrion? What you do reflects on me. If something's going on, I need to know about it. Tyrion... He offered to help my family. He did? Then surely he expects something in return. Sarah, what do you know of this? Tyrion approached us, my lady. It was his idea, not Mira's. I don't care what your intentions were, Mira. You went to a Lannister behind my back. I've only ever tried to help you. Why are you making trouble for me? My family needs me. We're losing everything. I have to do whatever I can to help them. I'm not blind to your pain, Mira. But your problems are not the only ones in the world. Right now, I need you both to be my handmaidens, and that's all I need you to be. Let there be no mistake. If I hear of you speaking so much as a word to Tyrion Lannister again, you can go home to your family. I'm sorry, my lady. I made a mistake. It won't happen again. Please don't send me home. This can't happen again. Roderick, it's the White Hills. They're assembling in the courtyard. They've woken the house. You can't let this go on. I'll need my sentinel. Go ahead, Talia, and have Royland meet me in the courtyard. It's a parade of dead men if I have my way. <laughs> what is the meaning of this? I demand to know. <laughs> Those are strong words. For a cripple who can't carry a sword? All of you, show your respect to Griff Whitehill, fourth-born son of Lord Ludd Whitehill and commander of this garrison. Cocky Roderick, we used to call you. Swinging your prick round, lording it over my family. Now look at you, eh? Roderick the Ruined. I hardly recognize you, but the name fits, don't it? <laughs> Pathetic. Get your men out of my sight. This is absurd. That sounds like the old Roderick. 
beat in his chest every chance he got. I don't think he gets it. No, my lord. I don't think he does. Your brother Ethan didn't get it either. You bite your tongue. I am in charge now. And the first thing you need to know is that if I am not happy, no one is happy. So my men are taking over your great hall. That's where we'll quarter from now on. What? You can't. You'll have to go through me. I won't have my men sleeping out in your barn in shit and filth. Maybe that's how foresters live, but not us. I don't care if you're happy or not. You'll quarter where I tell you. I wasn't fucking asking, Roderick. And what's more, you will treat my men right. I've heard what you've done, and if they're eating wormy bread, then your people better be eating shit off the ground. I'm not here to keep them in line. I'm here to keep you in line. Your men aren't fucking guests. We'll get what I give them and be thankful for it. Watch yourself, Roderick. This is against the King's law. You've no right to make such demands. I have every right. We're here under the orders of Roos Bolton, Warden of the North. So I will be in your halls. I will be in your courtyard. I will sit on your fucking council and be in your bedchambers if I bloody well please. You can't do this, little bastard. You can't just do whatever- We'll do what we were sent here to do. You're mad, Griff. This is my house and you will do as I say. Why should I listen to some cripple with half a face? Now, me and my men will take our place in your hall. Unless you think you and your army can stop me. No, you know better than that. You know where we'll be. This is outrageous. Roderick! You can't go in there. We can and we will. Unless you want this all to end right now, eh? I'm the only lord here. Come on. Griff Whitehill. That snot nose fourth born. Parading in here like a conquering fucking hero. It was bad enough when it was just the soldiers. We can't live with them under our roof. Soiling our house. I know you tried to stop them, my lord. But we can only take this occupation for so long. Our people will break. And the way Griff Whitehill came in, that's clearly what he wants. I'm no fool. I've seen the soldiers in our halls. And Whitehill's runt is at the front of the pack, so don't act as if I don't know how bad it is. Of course not, my lord. But Griff Whitehill isn't the beginning of our troubles, or the end of them. We need to look at all the pieces. Whitehill men aren't just in our house. They've raided our lands, burnt farms and cut down our trees. All the way from here, to High Point. How do we kill a snake then? By smashing its head. Griff is in the head. It's his father. Perhaps. But Griff is here. We have access to him. And they have Ryan. He carved these soldiers himself. I don't care what Gwyn Whitehill may have told you at the funeral. Who knows what horrors they're putting him through, held prisoner at High Point. You can't forsake his safety. But we have to do something. My lord, at least give us a target to aim for. Get Ryan out, and bring him home. Once he's safe, we can face the White Hills head on. And what of Griff and his men? But we can only take this occupation for so long. If you think I'm giving up on Ironrath, you're wrong. By keeping this family together, Ironrath will stand. Roderick is right. 
We are nothing if we leave Ryan behind. Then... it's decided. We're bringing Ryan back. We still don't have the men to hold our own home, let alone Storm High Point. We lost most of our men with Gregor at the Twins. Thankfully, Roderick secured an alliance with the Glenmores. But those forces mean nothing until after the marriage. That means we have to count on Asher and Mira. How? Asher means to sail home from Essos with a company of hardened sellswords. But they're not bannermen. We'll need to pay them for it. Which is why Mira's part to play is just as crucial. She can get us the coin we need in King's Landing. You don't imagine we have the luxury of waiting for them. Asher and Mira are a long way from here. I have faith in my children. Our very lives and the future of House Forrester are at stake. We have to let them try. It's the only way. Then we hold fast. The White Hills aren't ready for war. It won't be long before you're able to take action yourself. Well, one way or another, there's a fight brewing. So I have much to prepare. And men to train. My lord? My lord, there may be something we can do now. A voice from High Point, Gwyn Whitehill. I spoke with her at the funeral. As did I, and she's willing to meet, away from her father's guards. I may not be your sentinel, but please consider this. It would be wise to hear what she has to say. But why would she want to meet? Is it still about Asher? I couldn't say. That was a long time ago. And even if she still has feelings, it can't be just about that. It's a chance to learn more about our enemies. We need to take it, and I'll make sure no one else knows. For now, at least. Good. Handle things right with Gwyn, and she may even help us in High Point, when the time comes. I want the dove pie served with a spoon of lemon cream. We'll have to let the kitchens know. And these flowers. They're just all wrong in the crown lands. Mira, are you listening to me? Lady Marjorie, good tidings to you today. Thank you, Lord Tyrion. And you, Lady Mira, a word in private, if I may. I'll return her shortly. Who would I be to deny Lord Tyrion? Very soon you'll be the queen, and if you're anything like the current one, you'll deny me all you like. I'm sorry, Lord Tyrion, but Lady Marjorie needs me. Very well. Just know that matter we discussed? <clears throat> A royal decree sits on my desk now, and I'll have my squire Podrick see to it at the first opportunity. I thought you would want to know. Good news on a day that is already blessed. Oh, one more thing. The most valuable favor is a favor unspent. Perhaps I'll call on you for a dance at the wedding feast. Enjoy the festivities. Goodbye, Lord Tyrion. Lady Marjorie, welcome to the family. For better or worse. Lord Tyrion. Just how is he helping your family? What's this talk of a royal decree? You know I didn't want you talking to him. Today of all days. I made a deal with him. For the crown to buy my family's ironwood. Think of how this will look. House Forrester already has so few friends at court. And when this decree becomes public, you may find you have even fewer. You disappoint me, Mira. We'll talk about this after the wedding. Sarah will help me with my gown and hair. But... Come with me, Sarah.
Garrett! Easy now. Sorry. I was just keeping at the ready. That's good. Don't lose that. I understand your uncle paid you a visit. What did he want? Not many people pass through here. What brought him this far? He was just delivering ironwood shields for the Night's Watch. Good. Our stocks are running low. I know it couldn't be easy seeing him, but you have to leave all that behind. Especially now that you're a ranger. Aye. I know you had told me you could stand with these men, but not every brother's a friend. If it came to it, and you were in trouble north of the wall, any of them you'd trust by your side. You know these men. Who do you want watching your back? Finn can handle himself. I'd bring him to a fight. I'm glad he can trust your brother. I'll remember him. Errolt Holt of White Harbor, Corliss Wells from Stony Sept, and finally, we've got more spawn of nobility joining us. No. Britt Warwick of House Whitehill. It can't be. Check House Whitehill. Make sure you're not bringing this any one for the Boltons. It'll be a hot meal in the mess hall. After that, we'll be sorting out gear at the armory. Garrett. Be practice swords to Garrett, start. what's the matter? You know him. Come on, get moving. Garrett, who is he? That man murdered my family. What? Snow! See these new recruits to the Maester. Don't do something you'll regret. If it isn't the fucking pig farmer. I'm here because of you. Got sent to the war for that little party I do with your family. Don't think it's over. Best watch your back. What are you waiting for, recruit? I got nothing to say to you. Now get out my sight. And will you make me? That's enough, both of you. I said move. I'll be seeing you, farm boy. This isn't fair. We were supposed to be up there. I'll never see another wedding like this. I don't know what you did with Tyrion Lannister that made Cersei want to punish you, but it never should have affected me like this. I'm so sorry. I had no idea any of this would happen. But what Tyrion Lannister did for me, it may have saved my family. I hope that's true, Mira. I really do. Because you don't know how furious Marjorie is at you. When I was getting her dressed for the wedding, she was talking about who she could replace you with. <gasps> I probably shouldn't have even told you. But I suppose you have a right to know. Tell me who it is. Why? What are you going to do to her? Sarah! It doesn't matter. It was just names. This is about you. Look, you once promised to help me with Marjorie when our positions were reversed. That meant everything to me. Maybe now I'm in a position to help you. Otherwise, Marjorie's going to make you leave King's Landing. You're pushing her to it, Mira. Thank you, Sarah. I could really use a hand right now. I don't want to do this all alone. Don't worry. We'll figure this out. I'll beg Marjorie if I have to. I'm not letting her send you home. serving the pie. Oi. We're missing everything. I know you. You were in the gardens the other night with Damien. Before he disappeared. I have a few questions to ask you. What were you doing there with him? Mira? Don't think I don't know it was you. 
So what if I was with him? Uh, seven hells. <sighs> you there, girl. I need a towel or a wet cloth, something. Lord Morgren. You'll need to find someone else. I'm not finished Are with you her. you sick, man? You think I have time to bother with handmaidens? Release her or I'll have Queen Cersei find you another job. Well, I just ruined a perfectly good shirt to come to your rescue. No need to explain what that was all about. That was kind of you. I do appreciate it. Well, I didn't do it merely for your benefit. Then why? Perhaps I recognize a kindred spirit. It's not every little handmaiden who can steal an ironwood decree with the crown right out from under my nose. Consider me impressed. My partners, I am afraid to say, felt rather differently about it. You flatter me, my lord. I'm only saying you have potential, my lady. Your problem is, you still think like a handmaiden. Do you even understand why Tyrion gave you the Ironwood deal? Because it wasn't out of the kindness of his heart. I'm no fool. He wants something from me. Access to Marjorie. Or, perhaps he just knew he could get the cheapest iron for me. Very observant. You are no mere handmaiden. I remember what it was like to be new to this game. You feel like you're drowning, don't you? But there's no one you can really trust. And what you need, more than anything, is an ally. I could be that for you, Lady Mira. Is that something you'd be interested in? An alliance can mean many things, my lord. I would be a fool to say yes without knowing what I was saying yes to. Wisely put. So, let me be blunt. Circumstances have put us at odds. But what if we were to work together? Control the price of ironwood together? We could get very, very rich together. Or should I go back to Lud Whitehill? Who has proven to be very interested in it? What happened? Joffrey's oh, no, no, no. dead! I'm afraid it just became a very bad time to be linked to Tyrion Lannister. Tell me that you got that Ironwood decree from him before the wedding. Oh no. He said it was waiting for me on his desk. <sighs> what a shame. Such potential. I'm afraid any chance of our alliance has become quite impossible. You understand? I can get it. I'll get it back from his chamber. That would not be an easy task, especially now. But if it were to disappear, perhaps we could talk again. You have a good head for business, Lady Mira. It'd be terribly disappointing to see it on the end of a pike. What do you expect? <gasps> Tom! What in seven hells do you think you're doing up here? What are you thinking? You've got to leave. Now. Tom, I'm in trouble. There's something inside I need to get. If I don't, it's going to be a nightmare. Damn it. Whatever trouble you're in could be trouble for me too. So what do we do? I 
have an idea. The terrace. The what? I could maybe climb across the roof and drop down onto the outside terrace. It's just... I don't know where. Is whatever's in there really worth risking my life for? It's not just kings who die stupidly round here. Tom, I really need your help here. I can't do this alone. Just be careful. Wait here. I'll be at the door before you know it. Just what do you think you're doing here? You shouldn't be anywhere near this place. Don't you know the imp has murdered the king? I'm sorry. I was just... I'm leaving right now. Not so fast. I'm not going to ask you again. Oi! Whoever's in there, I command you to open this door at once, in the name of the king! You! Don't move! Tom! It's me! Hurry! Gods, that was close. I almost didn't make it back down here. Some tiles on the roof came loose. Thank you, Tom. I could never have done this without you. I'm looking for a piece of paper. A royal decree. Well, go on. That Lannister guard could be back with help any second. I'll keep watch outside the door. Tom! You can do this. Why does Tyrion have some kind of battle axe? He said that it would be on his desk. Mira, what are you doing? Sorry. It's the bill for the wedding. This is more money than I could spend in a lifetime. Tyrion's strongbox. Oh, it must be in here. I think the Lannister guard is back. No, no, it's the other one. Damn it, hide! I'll find a way to distract them. I'm telling you, I heard someone in here. Search the place. We'll find them. And after. Now that we've got the imp's keys, we can have a little look inside his lockboxes, eh? <laughs> Aye. I lit a tapestry on fire, down the hall. I bought you a minute, maybe two. Oh, thank you. Did you find it? Oh, I think... I think it has to be in here. Oh, it has to be. Oh! Come on! <gasps> it worked! Is this? Oh, thank the gods! Oh, I found it! Finally! Let's go! I catch the bastard who... I'll wring their bloody neck! 